Jesus and aliens together. <laughs> you know who it is. If you're a regular in this community, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> Why did he pivot to Jesus? Because he realized he had talked himself into irrelevancy. I think this is the first time I'm just talking about Jesus. The amount of times I've had in sessions as well of, of people with the solar flash. And um, what I do is I try and replay the year previously, the year previously. And I said, what happened in 2015? didn't happen sometimes it's hard to get through to them because they're always thinking the solar flash is coming even if it doesn't come they're still in that process of that disbel that belief system which is obviously false um so i've had my many many of times in sessions trying to rejig and and uh sometimes you just can't get through to them and that's what i've got to accept really right some of them you just can't get through to because they're so far into their own crazy story that that trying to get them out of it is like pulling teeth because they're so invested in the end of the world it is almost like a light worker attribute isn't it mm -hmm. it's just the other side of the of the love and lighters really it's the extremist the doomers and mm -hmm. bloomers mm -hmm. i was surprised I, uh, just to do a bit of research i flick through youtube the number of biblical prophecies that people are putting out there yeah, but that's always that's always like that. Yeah. That's always like yeah, that. Yeah, I those just not, people... not noticed it before. It's not been in my reality, yeah. really. See, those are the people who can't let go of the church as their only truth source because they're afraid of being persecuted and jumping into the light worker community, which has alternative religious beliefs that work are contrary to the beliefs that they they're leaving. And that's why you see such a huge volume of biblical prophecies and people who have nothing to do with any biblical church, but are still citing biblical quotes and trying to make XX and X believe in XX or X. Did you, it reminded me of, of a lady who I bought many, again, I won't say, say names, but a lady <laughs> I brought many of Oracle cards and angel cards from and books. Then all of a sudden I saw online that she went, basically said all of the oracle cards with the devil the demons yep. and all of her stuff and she completely now i've listened to a video and i sent it to lauren i was like what the fuck and she's <laughs> literally completely flipped where everything's devil except jesus yep. and nothing mm -hmm. to against mm -hmm. jesus or anything but that's her reality that everything's a devil except this one ideology and yoga is bad author... for you she said yoga is mm -hmm. bad for you too mm -hmm. yeah remember the author Anne rice Anne interview with a vampire all those books yes my brother used to read those she has converted to extreme reborn christian and has now disavowed all of her own work this was like a decade ago disavowed everything she's ever written is the devil i was in, uh, taken over by the devil then okay so let, let's break this down as conscious healers here okay this is not to attack any one religion if you were completely going to re reject all of your previous great works that gave you an incredible life force, what are you doing to yourself? What are you replacing it with? I'd just say you're going backwards. You're not progressing at all. You're going into Correct. some soul sickness. There you it's go. heart disconnection, isn't it? Yeah. It's complete heart disconnection. Disempowerment. Really disempowerment mm. yeah but that's all that uh, that's that's her particular life journey to go through she created that material that absolutely affected millions and millions of people it encouraged millions of people to become writers and fans of that particular genre that that because that book it, you know spawned a huge big portion of those old vampire genres okay now back to doom and gloom okay so Mateus is asking what what's a real doom and gloom we should actually be aware of nothing there is no doom and gloom as a precognitive expectation it's all how people are snared through their different social media or media access systems that want to do what imprint fear into you Okay. And as long as you're open to getting fear imprinted into you, what will, what will that doom and gloom do for you? So for some of these, um, pay, like say organizations, Andrew, for news, do they have specific like filters of people who have to 
reach a criteria of you know the doom and gloom so to say they're like right the news got to be like this so they're, they're just trained to that way and they have to meet this criteria of, of obviously nothing great nothing positive well not a lot of positivity anyway and yeah. does it become like an addiction as well it becomes an addiction okay so much less like the light worker who who believes the love and light will save them they have turned to the doom and gloom and they want to rush the doom and gloom okay why are people rushing the doom and the gloom i was gonna say instant gratification <laughs> It is instant gratification. <laughs> they want to get the shit show over with now. End the world now. What to prove That's they what were it is. right? It's a temper tantrum. End the world now. And a lot of films as well. And majority of films are end of the world. There's so much end of the world stuff um, mm -hmm. as you grow up and, and kind of get imprinted watching it. So doom and gloom. Unfortunately, it is the Christian religion that puts out the majority of it okay do you hear the hindus doom and glooming no no do you hear the shintos of japan doom and glooming no no do you hear the no. israelites or the jews yes you do but they're still related direct to christianity do you hear of the doom and gloom that's going to come from the muslim most muslims no but the extreme muslim yes and unfortunately, the Christian run broadcast media loves to pull out Armageddon. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah. Do you hear Andrew Bartz's doom and glooming? No, I don't doom and gloom. <laughs> I'm telling you, nothing's <laughs> happening. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> I got yeah. to that. I, from my own personal experience, I got exactly to that point where listening to you for a long time and I just decided to switch it all off because there was a part of me which was feeding into it and wanting something to happen. Like, yeah, this is going to happen. This is going to change. And it got to the point where, right, I have to de-weaponize what I'm listening to. So I've turned it off. And now it's it's a knowingness that I'm now in with the natural world and I'm obviously doing work, still having to co be in the system at times and so on. But I've had to completely take myself away from it because I have been there. Where I'm like looking at a video, like I want something to happen. <laughs> like, <laughs> the Pleiadians come down on the Syrians or some shit, but yeah. <laughs> it's so, not going to happen. So Reese, Reese in the wither room. I was surprised they didn't push Geostorm more. You don't remember 2014, do you? 2014 was the year of the Geostorm is coming. The world is ending. It was all the big mega Geostorm. That was 2014, and it didn't happen. And that's why they don't push it anywhere. No one believes the shit no more. What were they saying through harp a few years ago about that was the geostorm the, the, the harp was, the was going to create yeah. a mega storm that was going to clear off the world uh the things we do to ourselves the things paranoia creates in our life so it's so many people they they, they latch on to their doom and gloom story of the year and then when it doesn't happen they revert back to a light worker how many of you seen that happen the once a year doom and gloom story that somehow has gotten bull weaveled into your soul and you're going to broadcast it everywhere. And then you're, you know, they're eating crow. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> uh huh. When the audience has had to eat their crow every got year, the t -shirt, they got the t shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every, everyone has. Everyone has. Okay. <laughs> and I will say, except me, because I know there's no doom and gloom coming, but there is shit <laughs> going to happen, and shit is not always doom and gloom. Are people susceptible to believe, say, a geostorm theory, if that is something that has actually wiped people out in a different time space? Might it give cellular memory? No, but they're trying to trigger cellular memory so, memory so you believe in it. That was the whole thing about Nibiru, is they wanted to actually trigger your, your cellular memories of all the previous destructions to force it to teleport here. 
That's right. They wanted you to use your belief engine to make something that had long been destroyed and taken out of reality to remanifest back into reality hundreds of thousands of years later and recreate its destruction. That's how powerful we are as an unconscious, un unconscious, uncollective group being given a focus to a collective concept. So every, everything everything that's still it, that's in the mass unconscious, like say Atlantis, yeah. is it's what they can play on. Right. Yeah. So, so they use our beliefs against us. Mm -hmm. mm. How successful was it then? Because I remember you saying it it got taken out of phase and disappeared. Oh, it, they, it, I mean, literally, they 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 pushed Nibiru was coming so hard that it recreated itself in the in our in our solar system five or six different times until finally the aliens are like, "Fuck this! We're going to suspend it and remove it from time." Yeah. <laughs> Even they got fed up with it. Even they got fed up. But fucking humans keep bringing it back. <laughs> this there in his little craft, and he looked to the right. He's like, "Fuck's sake, it's back!" <laughs> yeah, fucking thing is back. A big one yeah. was CERN, wasn't it? That was that was probably one of the biggest doom and glooms I've seen in, in the light worker uh, about CERN doing loads of shit. Um, and they'll probably bring that back again, won't they, through the years? Um, Oh yeah, CERN will ever forever be the boogeyman in every in everyone's doom and gloom closet.